Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Lou De Liu. I'm from Boston. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I work for Autolive. Uh, we are the leading supplier uh, for active safety system. Uh, recently, I um, was very fortunate to involve in the autonomous uh, driving system, where I have first-hand experience of um, um, this exciting um, moment for our future car. And today, my focus will be uh, on the uh, embedded, uh, advanced embedded system for wireless application from development point of view. Um, today, we have heard a lot about the Internet of Things. So, um, my focus will be uh, on the autonomous driving system. And in this slide, you can see that this is an example of a smart car with uh, what we call advanced driving assistant system, uh, aka ADAS. And in the middle is a smart car which is equip, uh, equipped with uh, lots of nice features. Uh, let me ask you a question. Uh, how many of you have experienced uh, features called adapt adaptive cruise control? Do you like it? Yes. So, um, last week uh, I was involved in the uh, ADS workshop. And we are testing an algorithm, uh, an ACC algorithm. And I'm the one who involved to write the code. And let me tell you about how we test the car. We have a uh, via test vehicle. Um, I won't be able to tell you which brand. And also, we have, a, uh, we have two vehicles. And we call it Rabbit. So we, we went a track. And in the track, we have four people in our team. Two, two are in the test vehicle, two people are in the rabbit. So when we say go, the test vehicle has to drive 110 uh, kilo, uh, mile per hour, and the rabbit has to drive 20 kilo mile per hour. So we'll say, OK, everybody uh, sit tight, and make sure you wear your seatbelt. And we said, go. And in six, six seconds later, and the two cars will be co come very close, and we have to test whether the car will stop by itself. As you can see, we have to really trust our code. It, hopefully, <laughs> everything is working. So, uh, and luckily, we are, I'm still here. So, this is why I say uh, the first-hand experience, which is the user experience. Um, for example, the idea of ACC is, it's not just the car has to stop, but it has to stop nicely, that you won't feel that, oh, okay, it's really uh, not feel comfortable. And in my uh, next seconds, next, I am going to uh, show you a video. At AutoLeave, our mission is to be the leading supplier of safety systems for the future car, well integrated with autonomous driving. Our active safety systems provide real-life safety, managing the unexpected safety hazards, predicting and preventing an accident from happening. What if your car could avoid lane change accidents? It can, by combining camera, radars, and brake controls. When the car is going out of lane, the radars notice the collision danger, and the camera notices the intended lane change. The OEM can choose to apply steering pressure, or in this case, brake force, 
to move the car out of danger and avoid an accident. Real life safety is aided when moving people or objects behind obstructed view are detected, allowing the central ADAS ECU, the brain of accident free driving, to tell the vehicle to assist the driver or if there's no reaction, react in difficult scenarios. Combined systems are computing, which artificially maps my car and obstacles, determining where the car can move safely, avoiding human error. What if a car could take control when you're distracted? It can assist with steering and brake control with mono and stereo vision cameras. The camera in the A-bar sees that the driver has taken his eyes off the road. An alert is given for an object detected by the forward-facing camera or radar. If no action is taken, autonomous brakes are applied to avoid collision. Stereo vision can see further, wider, and assist the driver or control the car. The stereo vision camera is able to communicate even real-life safety objects, like a shopping cart which comes quickly, or a door which opens unexpectedly, and the car autonomously brakes to avoid collision. What if your car could see around corners? You can, by cars communicating their speed and position. Through radio communication, an approaching but hidden vehicle could communicate and brakes were autonomously applied, avoiding a serious collision. The vehicle sees the crash before it is there. Autoleave, saving more lives. What do you think about the... What do you think about the video? Who liked the video? It's great. Yeah, AutoLeaf, uh, we uh, develop active safety um, features. Uh, the idea is to uh, prevent crash. And the we have the statistic uh, in three years, if uh, there are more and more cars will equip with uh, all the um, active sa safety features, for example, uh, ACC, uh, Adaptive Cruise Control, uh, AEB, which is the uh, advanced electronics braking system, whether your car is uh, about to crash, if the driver is not doing anything, it will stop by itself. Uh, today, my focus will be on, from the development point of view, what um, are we thinking when we design these features? Uh, the print, the uh, the principle is, uh, can be applied to not only the automotive application, but it also can be applied to uh, healthcare monitoring and better system, uh, security and surveillance and better system, etc. Uh, this is an example of a smart car that equipped with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and satellite communications. Uh, as you can see, on the left side of the screen, we have the uh, radar sensor, which can be used to uh, estimate uh, what we call a uh, function is called tracking, radar-based tracking. And it's, um, it can be used to develop uh, a, a tracker which we can um, generate X and Y position and elevation, which is the Z position, and also the vehicle speed uh, in front of us, uh, I, I mean in front of the, what we call the host vehicle. Um, based on this, we can, uh, this is called what, uh, called object tracking. And also uh, on the left side, you can see a car camera 
uh, which can be used uh, for recognize the traffic sign, stop sign. Um, also, it can be used for uh, lane marking. And also, it has a rain detector. Uh, for who, 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 who is familiar with rain detector inside a car? Yeah, when I uh, first drove a uh, Mercedes, uh, it was raining. And uh, I saw the wiper was automatically moving. I thought, oh, wow, what is this? How come the wiper automatically uh, moving? And I didn't t turn on any button. And then, and the next day, it rang again. I think it, 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 was, it was snowing. And the wiper was turning again. I, then I think, OK, maybe I forgot to uh, turn off the switch. So I deliberately turn off the switch, and it's, it's still it, the wiper will come up automatically. And instant, wow, this is very cool technology. I really like it. So that's why uh, we think we we believe that user experience is very important when we uh, look at the development a uh, we call a system features for the users. And not only the user has a nice experience, but we also, they, they will be, the consumer will be willing to pay a higher premium. Uh, look at the, when the Tesla come, people actually have to line up to make the order. And on this diagram, in the middle one, uh, is the, what we call uh, ECU, which is the uh, brain of the car. Uh, it's called engine control unit. And on the right hand side, you see a uh, display monitor, uh, which the car can, uh, the, the, emb the embedded system can generate some warning, like audio warning, uh, beep, 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 or lights on the mirrors, and also uh, some text warning in case there is a dangerous situation and the car, uh, the, the driver is not doing anything to prevent a crash, it will send those warnings. For example, um, if, if the car has a, what we call a blind spot uh, assistance, if you try to change lane and there is a car uh, on the blind spot, it will actually uh, flash a red LED or yellow LED on the mirror, uh, things like that. And also, we have a satellite radio, and while, you, while the driver is driving, it can, they, she or he can listen to the music, uh, which broadcasts from the satellite, or uh, he or she can listen to uh, her fa favorite music from her iPhone, uh, which is connected to the media, media system on the car uh, via Bluetooth. For only five minutes. <laughs> Okay, I try to be hurry. Um, so, this example is actually is a wearable health monitor system, uh, which in principle can apply to um, not every single embedded system, but basically we, as a uh, developer um, for embedded system, we basically look at uh, similar things uh, in terms of requirements. So, you can see it, uh, it has a some uh, smart sen sensors like accelerometers, um, sense uh, for for automotive application. You, it can be radars, it can be cameras, and of course it has microprocessor. Whether it's a, uh, a fast speed DSP or it just a uh, low end microprocessor, it depends on the applications. And of course it ha it has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. Um, whether you use a real-time clock or not, it depends on the, your, your application. Some, some do, some, some, uh, some don't. And this is a diagram to show multiple sensors that connect to a server. And the reason I have put this here is I want to show you uh, from the server side, uh, which is not the embedded system, but embedded uh, sensor uh, will talk to the server um, through IoT, 
Um, and I want to emphasize the green, the green uh, the circle, which is encryption and description. Uh, it's wonderful that uh, the, physical, the, the sensor will send uh, tons of information in light speed to the server, but it will be a uh, disaster to have someone to hack into your refrigerator to steal your ident uh, identity. So uh, we want to avoid that. So if you uh, are the so architecture who develop uh, these systems, you have, uh, have to think about that. And also another uh, key uh, feature is the device has to be able to upgrade uh, automatically uh, over the air. This is a nice feature. Not only is it nice to have from the user point of view, but also from the uh, selling point of view, you can ask for uh, more money. Uh, people will pay to upgrade. For example, I was really surprised to know that Tesla, the new model, is just a software upgrade. And from architecture consideration uh, for advanced embedded system, we always, uh, I think we can skip this. I, I have already covered this one. So uh, what are we looking at? From what, 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 how do we make architecture decision? First of all, price versus quality, accuracy versus speed, performance driven or not. Um, of course, sometimes you have to bid uh, to win, or you have the reverse bidding, uh, the lowest price win, and then things like that. Or suddenly everything works and your boss tells you you have to cut the price in up to 50%. Then you have to think through everything again. And how much time do you have? Do you have two years? Do you have half, half, uh, six months? Uh, it it changes. Your design will change according to all of these factors. Um, processor selection. I think I'm going to skip this because of the time. And these are some of the challenges we face when uh, developing the uh, embedded system for wireless application. Uh, the first one will be Software processing bandwidth may become an issue. This is always true. We don't have enough cycle to process everything. And the second issue is uh, for dense network, we need to know uh, to synchronize all the input from different sensors. Um, or we, we have to talk to uh, 10,000 devices uh, in two seconds. So how do you solve those problems? So you have to really understand um, what's going on in the system. And another uh, issue is uh, we always face the real-time operating system because the embedded system is running in real time. So you have to know, uh, we always consider whether our budget, our bomb, uh, allow us to purchase a off-the-shelf uh, autos. Otherwise, can we design our own autos? And sometimes uh, for automotive system, uh, the, every component we use have to pa uh, be safety standard. Uh, for example, there's an auto star safety standard. For medical device, there are different standards. So sometimes you can develop your or your own auto, sometimes you cannot. And because of the time, um, uh, I actually, for those who are interested to have the soft copy, you can ask uh, the organizer. We can share this to you, no problem. Um, I think this completes my presentation. Thank you. <laughs>